Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Delaney and thank you for joining. Today's video is actually the first like fashion video that I'm filming in our new house. So this is a different setup. Welcome to the new house. We're still figuring out sort of the way that we're going to do all of the filming. So this may be temporary, temporary or this may be the spot I always film in. I would love to hear what you guys think of the spot in the comments. And for today's video, it's something that's highly, highly requested. So I'm really excited to finally get around to it for you guys. And I'm just going over a list of essentials to build your wardrobe with. So these are, I would say that this list is not comprehensive, but it's a pretty good idea of where to start and some things that I absolutely could not live without in my closet. But there's still other things that could be added to this list and so on and so forth. So I may do part two or something in the future if you guys like this and if it would interest you. So also as always, I love hearing your guys' other ideas in the comments, so feel free to drop them as well. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So I tried to organize this by tops, bottoms and outerwear. I'm not doing accessories or shoes in this video because I didn't want it to be too overwhelming, but I can do a separate video of essentials for those things if you guys would like. I'm gonna be kind of like mixing all these pieces together and styling them together for the try on portion because I feel like the whole point of them is that they, you know, make an outfit. This is like what you need in your closet. So they're kind of like interchangeable and can all be worn together. So I'm gonna start with tops and with everything in this, especially for like tops and outerwear, it's all about just like layering, wearing these with so many different kind of outfits and so many different ways. So the first piece is going to be a cropped white tee. I love cropped white tees because crop tops are more, more flattering for my body type. I think because I'm shorter and they just elongate a little bit and I'm not like drowning in them and I also have a longer torso. I think, I can't even remember if I have a long torso or long legs like proportionally, but I know that crop tops are like flattering for me. So I love just like a cropped ribbed white tee. This is so easy to wear under almost everything. I like to wear these under a big over shirt, a flannel, a leather jacket, a jean jacket. It goes good with skirts, with shorts, with jeans, with sweats. I mean, literally so many things. I just can't live without a good cropped white tee. If you guys are not into the cropped style, just having a nice white tee is also a good option. Preferably like a looser one that you can kind of tuck in. Maybe you can tie up, things like that. And definitely, if you're just going for like normal white tee, I would say investing in one that's a little bit nicer is a good go because you're gonna get so much so much use out of it. It doesn't have to be super pricey or anything, but just make sure that it's like a little bit nicer quality than just those like packs of Hanes t-shirts or something. But for a cropped white tee, these are really easy to pick up. They have them at so many stores online and they're really affordable and just, a must. I'm gonna be saying that for everything because everything is an essential. The next item that I feel like I style so much and I absolutely could not live without is a good neutral bodysuit. And this is the famous Zara bodysuit. It's the halter neck bodysuit, I believe, halter top, something like that online. I pulled it here in black, but I also have this in white and a like nude color. This is just such a good bodysuit. It's like a seamless vibe. It's just really chic. It goes so well with like slacks. It looks amazing with baggy denim. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. I wear these with sweats. I wear these with skirts and it's so good. I love the fit. I love the fabric and just having this in a couple of neutral colors is going to go a long way. You can wear this to work under like a blazer or something and it's just super flattering, chic, all around an absolute must. So the Zara ones are the best ones that I've ever found. They do sell out quite often, but other stores have similar ones. So definitely a good piece and it's worth investing a little bit of money in this as well and not just getting like a super cheap one. Although this one is really affordable. I think it's only like $20. I'm just saying probably don't get like a $7 one. Okay, and then the next item is pretty similar to that and it's again a bodysuit. This version is a turtleneck and I love having a black turtleneck bodysuit. 
especially obviously for the colder months. I'm not wearing this in the summer, but this is like such very linty right now, probably from moving. But this is such a good layering piece. I wear this under baggy t-shirts, like graphic tees, vintage tees. I also like to wear it under sweaters. I also like it just plain with a pair of high-waisted denim and a belt or something. You can make it very chic, super comfortable. I wear this when it's really cold as just like a layer up under something and have it look like chic and polished, but also a, a nice little functional feature of keeping you warmer. And I don't know, a, a basic turtleneck body is just such a good thing to have in your closet. I end up throwing this on all the time when I go to like a family event or a work thing because I feel it is just so well put together but it's super easy to do and I prefer it in a bodysuit style because it's really nicely tucked in that way and I don't like when a sweater or a turtleneck or something is really bunchy on the waist when you try to tuck it in. Next for tops is a plain white tank and this is pretty obvious. I feel like everyone maybe already has this but if you don't have a a good white tank it is an absolute must for styling again I like a cropped one just because I find that it fits my style and my body type better and it's a little more flattering but if you like a longer line one those are perfect too this one I believe is sold out and it was from Urban Outfitters I think I know of some other good ones that I'll link for you guys I would say for a white tank top like this the most important thing is the way it is cut and the quality of it. So I like them when they're a little bit thicker because I don't wear a bra with these. I'm all for, you know, freeing the nip and I just like don't really like wearing a bra and I don't really care. So I like when the material is a little bit thicker so that you can kind of get away with that and just make sure that it's like nice and tight and it fits well and you'll be good to go. I wear this with shorts, with sweats, with denim, with skirts and layering under jackets and over shirts and it's just you can't go wrong with this and I have literally loved white tanks like this for my whole life I remember when I was younger I had like 75 of these that all looked the same and I like cherished them all okay and then the last top version or the last top piece I'm gonna show you guys is a graphic tee, vintage tee. So I had to include this in the video because if you guys have followed me before, you know that I love graphic tees. I love oversized tees. I just can't live without these. Me and Clayton share pretty much all of our t-shirts that are like this. So if you have a boyfriend or a brother or even a dad who likes shirts like this, you can get double wear out of them and you can steal theirs, which I do all the time. So for this kind of shirt, I like to get it really big, like a large, or extra large. I like the way that that fits. I just think it's so comfy. I think it's very cool girl, edgy, and then it fits Clayton really well too because he is a tall boy. <laughs> So yeah, this is just one of my favorite things to wear. I end up throwing it on all the time, whether it be like a Harley tee, which I love, or a band tee, or just any kind of cool vintage oversized tee that feels really lived in and soft and comfy. You can wear this with baggy shorts, baggy denim, sweats. If they're really big, you can wear them on their own. You can wear them with biker shorts, and it's just the way to my heart. I, I would be happy if my whole closet was full of just vintage tees like this. I think I'm gonna move on to bottoms now. All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys for bottoms is actually a nice neutral skirt. So this one I've had for years and it's from Princess Polly. The actual brand is Lioness and I got it in a size extra small, which I believe is a two on the site. And it's just a white mini skirt with a little slit. And I wear this skirt like there is no tomorrow. I wear this skirt with everything in every season. It looks good with sneakers. It looks good with knee high boots. It looks good with heels. It looks good with crop tops. It looks good with sweaters. I'm not joking. I wear this thing with literally everything. You've definitely seen it in my videos before if you've watched my fashion wood videos. So I just can't say enough about these skirts. I love them. And I have a couple of other colors from Princess Polly as well. I have like an oatmeal color, which is kind of a beige. And then I have a black one. 
I wear the white one the most. I just like the way it kind of gives like a pop. It's a must for me. I would recommend this over any skirt I've ever owned. And next is more obvious and it's just a good pair of denim. So I also style this pair of denim in almost every fashion video. You guys have probably seen them before if you've watched them. This pair is BDG from Urban Outfitters and it's just a high-waisted, very loose fitting throughout the leg, straight leg sort of dad jean cut. And I get a size 25 in these. My normal size is a 24, but BDG tends to run a little small. So I recommend sizing up one size. They're high-waisted, they're comfy. I think that light wash denim matches more things and is definitely more in for our current style. So I like this wash because it's light and I just love these. You can also wear these with heels if you want to dress it up and make it a little more sassy. I wear them with Air Force Ones all the time, Converse, boots, booties. I mean, a good pair of light wash dad jeans is such a good piece to have in your closet. You wear them with everything. Okay, and then next is sweatpants because I think we can all collectively say that we're obsessed with sweatpants. If you're not good for you because you're probably like a very productive, organized person or something. But if you're like me and you're obsessed with sweatpants, I mean, you can still be productive and organized and obsessed with sweatpants. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, I think we're all obsessed with sweatpants. So I had to include a pair here. And this is one of my favorite pairs. I don't think they're available online anymore. So I will link similar, but these are from Boohoo. And I usually wear a size small, but I got a size medium in these because I like my sweats pretty loose and baggy. I think it just adds to the comfiness and I also like the way it looks. So having just a neutral pair like this is what I would suggest, whether it be black, gray, white is good, but it's a little bit sketchy because it gets dirty or a nice tan color like this is so good. I wear those graphic tees, band tees, crop tops, tank top, oversized shirts, everything with these sweats. And if you're really into it, you can also style them with heels and blazers and all kinds of stuff. I have a video on my channel of how to style sweats. These are definitely featured in there. So if you need some inspo, you can look there, but honestly, a good pair of sweats is crucial to my wardrobe. And then next is a good pair of denim shorts. I have also been raving about this pair of shorts a lot on my channel, so you guys have probably already seen them, but I picked these up in my Revolve haul and they are from Levi, but they're such a good pair of shorts. They're high-waisted, they're a longer hem, and they're tight, but not too tight. Like they're flattering, but they're loose enough to be comfy and not like super restrictive, which I love. And they match everything. I wear crop tops with these t-shirts, oversized things, sweatshirts. You can also dress these up. I've done that a couple of times with heels and like tucking in a shirt and just like a nice bag or something, or just be like super laid back and casual with them in like your boyfriend's t-shirt and no shoes. So these are a must in my opinion. I don't think, I think I could go like all summer without wearing any other pair of shorts, but these, if I had to, like they're, they're that good. Also these run true to size and I think they're almost sold out at Revolve. So I'll link them at other places wherever I can find them and I'll link everything else obviously too. All right, the next pair of bottoms is a good pair of trousers or slacks. I feel I style trousers and slacks basically the same. So I wasn't going to show you guys both options, but just having one or the other, I think is a good place to start with your wardrobe. And I picked a pair of trousers because I style them more than I style slacks because I obviously don't work in a office or go to like any crazy meetings that often or anything. So I end up, you know, going towards more casual things. But for trousers or slacks, I would say just a nice neutral color. So mine is this nice like camel khaki. I'm confused about khaki because I grew up thinking that this was khaki, this color, but a lot of websites call green, like olive green khaki. So is this khaki or not? Can you guys let me know? But anyways, like this color in slacks or trousers is really good. I have a pair of trousers that is like this 
I mean, I have a pair of slacks that is really similar to this color and I feel like it just matches everything. So black or tan and just a nice fit. These ones are from Zara and they're sort of like a balloon leg pleated trouser situation. And they are really easy to dress up with heels or blazers. And they're also really easy to dress down with crop tops. And I wouldn't wear like an oversized t-shirt with these. It kind of doesn't go together. A bodysuit looks so nice with these, whether you're wearing sneakers or heels or booties, just really good to have around. And I feel like trousers and slacks are just a little bit more elevated if you don't want to wear jeans and you don't feel like wearing a skirt either. This is somewhere kind of in between and it's a must for the wardrobe when you just need to be a little bit dressed up but not too crazy. And then the last pair of bottoms that is a must have is biker shorts or cycling shorts, whatever you want to call them. This pair is actually from Forever 20 and I think they're sold out, but Forever 21 sometimes has good ones. Aritzia has really good biker shorts. The Joa Brown ones are a little more expensive, but they're so worth it in my opinion. Where else has good biker shorts? Windsor has some good biker shorts sometimes. Pretty Little Thing. That's all I can think of. If you guys have other good biker short recommendations, leave them below because I feel like we're all always looking for good places to buy them. But basically, I love biker shorts. They're so comfy and I think they're really cute as well. You can style them a lot of ways. I prefer wearing something oversized with them for the most part just because they're really tight and like shorter and just very, I don't know. I feel like wearing something oversized with them sort of balances it out and it's like really big and baggy up here and then it's just nice and tight and fitting on the bottom but also like a crop top or something tight can be really cute with them too. Cardigans, button ups, flannels, leather jackets look really cute with biker shorts in my opinion. There's just so much that you can do with these. So if you don't have a good pair of biker shorts yet, I highly recommend. And then I'm gonna take it over to outerwear. So this is basically just things to throw on to all of those staples and just zhuzh up the look, okay? All right, the number one is, well not like number one and most important, but the first one is a blazer. And I prefer an oversized blazer because I think it's just edgier and cooler and I like the way it looks on girls to have something oversized and boxy and sort of masculine. So I'm a huge fan of the oversized fit and this one is from Storettes. I have a little stain on it that I need to get dry cleaned but I have had this for a while and I style it so often. I absolutely love this thing. I throw it over everything. It looks good with slacks. It looks good with jeans. It looks good with sweats. It's just so cool and the color is a nice neutral, which I highly recommend, whether it be a black or a tan like this or even a white blazer. I do like the patterned blazers like tweed or houndstooth or something like that as well, but I think just a solid neutral color is a really good staple to have and you'll get the most wear out of it. So I love throwing this on over a bodysuit like that Zara one or a little mock neck bodysuit or the turtleneck, anything like that. A crop top is really good if you're making it more street style and edgy with jeans or something and it's just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is about blazers. You can make them very chic and professional or you can make them really cool and street style edgy. So I just, I have such a place in my heart for blazers. So if you guys don't have one yet, you need one. And then the next outerwear that I have for you guys is a faux leather jacket. So I've also talked about this leather jacket quite a bit on my channel. It's from Misguided and I believe it's listed as like a boyfriend fit leather jacket. So it's already oversized and just really cool girl, edgy. I got a size US 4 in this and it fits perfectly. So, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, this is probably, it probably does fit clean. So it is like a boyfriend style. And I also love when faux leather jackets have a little more detailing. So the more little silver hardware pieces on it, the better I think. It just makes it stand out and look a little like more expensive and cool. So I wear this with so many things. I'll throw this on over a dress. I wear it with sweats all the time. I think it's really good for like a cool girl travel look. I wear it with jeans. I wear it with biker shorts, as I mentioned. And I just, I don't think I'll ever really get over the style of jacket. I have loved biker jackets ever since I was young. And I think, I think I always will. Either way, just like a nice faux leather piece that you can throw over everything is gonna 
be a bust in your wardrobe. And then the last outerwear piece is a oversized button-up shirt. So Clayton and I have so many of these and we also, we share these obviously, that's why I said we. But so a button-up, an oversized button-up is something that I put on every week for sure. And it's so easy to style. It feels really comfy and it's very transitional. It's great for every season and it really adds to a look. I love adding layers if your outfit just feels plain and boring. If you just add an oversized button up, you're gonna feel like you're doing something right, I think. So this one that we just got from Urban Outfitters, I wanted to show you guys. It's this like cool bleach color, uh, black and bleach color. But we also have like a cream corduroy run, corduroy, corduroy, a cream corduroy one that we wear. That word is so hard for me to say. We wear it all the time. We thrifted it and these are so good to thrift. This one is a little more loud and bold because everything here was really plain and neutral. So I just wanted to like throw in something a little more with a little more pizzazz, but just like a solid one is really good too. Tan, black, brown. If you like color, throw a color in there. Or if you want it to be flannel, flannel matches so many things. But basically collect these kind of shirts that are large button ups and sort of neutral colors and you're gonna end up getting so much freaking wear out of them. Again, with like the t-shirts, we get a size large or extra large. So it fits me really oversized and it fits Clayton kind of true to size and a little oversized as well. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked this. And if you want to see like a part two or the shoes and accessories version, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you for my next video.